Okay, welcome to Feats of Clay event number one is the cylinder stack event. Um, each team of four members will get one box of clay, that's 50 pounds of clay. The time for this event is 10 minutes. The cylinder stack is a relay event where the tallest stack wins. Clay may be prepared prior to the start of the event. Each team member must throw on the wheel in sequential order. That means four players each throwing, one at a time, and cutting the piece off the wheel. The cylinders must then be stacked and completed within a 10 minute time frame. Now you can stack the cylinders as you make them, or you can make all the cylinders and then stack them in the last couple of minutes or so, sometime that gives you enough time to make that stack of cylinders. That is, up to the, that is up to the team. The cylinders can be blended together. Just like we're showing you right there. They can be blended as they are stacked. For strength. Pieces can have bottoms on them, it doesn't matter, they can be hollow all the way through. At the completion of the stacking, team members must step away from the construction and the stack will be measured. Any stack, hey, you can't, you can't put that piece of clay on the top, you can't manipulate the clay to make it taller, and you can't pinch it either, so, so cut that out. Any stack that falls prior to all stacks being measured will be disqualified, so it's got to stand up. The judges are going to measure as quickly as possible, so there's no need to yell at your judges. They're just there to measure. Me <laughs> Measurements will be taken in a timely fashion. All judges' decisions are final. If it falls, we'll measure it to the lowest point. Next event. It's like the pen and teller of pottery, you know? <laughs> <laughs> The next event is the mug production. Again, it is four members, 50 pounds of clay. You've got to wedge up all the clay from the cylinder stack. Uh, we'll give you about 15 minutes to do so. Each team member must throw on the wheel in sequential order. That means player one goes first, player two goes second, player three goes third, player four goes forth, etc, etc. Team, member, team members may assist in cutting and moving the cylinders to the table as well as attaching the handles. Clay may be prepared prior to the event. The mugs must be completed and set on the table within a 10 minute time frame. Each mug must be 4 inches in height and the cylinder must exhibit a wheel thrown quality. That means you can't have a lump of clay with a thumb hole in it. Four inches is gonna be measured on the outside from the table to the highest point on the rim. The rim must be wide enough to fit a toilet paper roll in the top, which will be provided by your judges. There's a, there's not, that right there is not a mug. That is a piece of clay. Those are mugs, and they are quite beautiful, I must say. That is a handle. Must be able to fit at least one finger in it. There it is. Do we have a paper towel roll? Is that four inches? Hey, that's not even four inches. <laughs> <laughs> that, that one's four inches by holding okay. an angle. So if this were the case, we would have we would count one out of three mugs. Judges' decisions are final. Oh, there's a hole in the bottom that is disqualified. The piece must have a bottom. That's what will distinguish it from a non-mug. And we want to save the mugs. <laughs> Save 12 mugs that your team has made for the next, or one of the next events, which is... Yep. Okay. The next event is the no hands throw. This is also oh, a team... Geez, that must be dirty. <laughs> this is also a team event. No, no electricity. Your clay can be prepared ahead of time without 
use of the electric on the wheel. So you could spin the wheel, get your 25 pound piece of clay, uh, sort of centered or in the center of the wheel before the competition begins. You can use four people uh, touching the clay, you could use two, you could use three, but it is a four person event, someone could work the pedal, someone could work the water. But once the event starts, no hands or tools may be used to throw the clay. Any other body parts may be used. A team member may, however, use a sponge to keep the clay wet. Team members must devise a way to create the largest piece possible. Judges will measure the tallest and widest section of the pot when it is completed. Now, once your piece is completed, you cannot manipulate it to make it wider or taller. That means no pinching and certainly none of that. That is an illegal move making your piece oval. If, if you do make your piece oval, they're going to measure the lowest spot by the narrowest spot. Okay? And the way that those are measured are height times width. You have a full 10 minutes. Height plus width. Height plus width, actually. Thank you. So if it is 10 inches wide by 5 inches tall, that would be a total of 15. That is your number for the event. Judges' decisions are final. Please do not argue with them. They are there to help, and they are your friends. The next event would be the blindfold throw. The blindfold throw is a two-person event, one person throwing, one person assisting. The idea of this event is to throw the tallest cylinder possible, not the tallest cone piece of clay possible. The piece must be a cylinder. It should have a bottom. Well, it should. I guess. <laughs> Should it? <laughs> I don't know. Doesn't I don't know that should, okay. It should have a bottom, but if it doesn't, I don't think anybody's going to say anything to you. I look at it too. No looking. Throw a decent cylinder. Does that mean I can cone it up and just make it a solid piece of clay? You can cone it, but the piece can't be solid. It has to be hollow all the way through. We're, the judges will cut the piece in half and measure it. So. so if you cone it like that, that's probably pretty good. That's still hollow all the way through. If okay. it's solid, if it becomes a solid piece of clay, you're not going to get the full measurement. So, measure so that is... Whole nine inches. That's nine inches tall. Okay. We'll cut it in half. Hollow all the way through. That, that was a legitimate cylinder. So you can cone to get height, but don't make it solid, a solid piece of clay. And lastly, the coil building event, which is the team event. Anybody on the team can roll coils. Anybody on the team can build the structure. cannot prepare your clay before this event. The event has to be started all at the same time with a box of clay. So however you decide to cut your clay, prepare your coils, has to be done within that 30 minute time frame. The object is to build the tallest structure that you can. The finished coil vessel must be hollow throughout the entire piece, so there's no solid parts. At the end of the event, team members must step away from the piece and it has to stand until all pieces are measured. Judges will measure the tallest point without a straight coil on the top. The, the top coil must be horizontal. Again, all the judges' decisions are final and that's the worst coil piece I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> <laughs> 